In support of the Building on Excellence Strategic Plan for Student Success, San Diego State University adopted supplemental instruction in two large sections of Psychology 101. Here are the outcomes from the 2015 pilot program. My Psychology 101 class is one of the first classes the students take here at SDSU. I teach a thousand students each semester. That's 2,000 students a year. It's a really big challenge for students coming here, um, especially if you're a first generation college student. You don't even really know how to navigate to get help. My first impression of the class Psych 101 was that it felt like an amphitheater. And so it was just kind of funny to walk in there and be like, wow, this is a classroom. The Psych 101 is one of the more rigorous GE classes. Dr. Lamakis was teaching all of us at once. All that information it was just kind of overwhelming. I never raised my hand or asked a question or things like that because it was too scary for me to be wrong in front of a group of 500 kids. In the particular class that we were focusing on this last fall semester, anywhere from 20 to 40 percent of those students would have to repeat the class. It keeps people from graduating on time. It takes longer time to degree. It slows students through the major because classes are being filled with people who should have already been done with them and so forth. And that's, I think, the biggest challenge for me is finding ways to reach the kids who are struggling early on. We really want to get these students out into the California workforce as soon as possible. So there's a variety of reasons why it really makes a lot of sense to help them be successful on their first attempt at that class. We were really interested in trying to find ways to decrease that DNF rate in the class. And what we came upon was supplemental instruction. Supplemental instruction is a peer-led academic assistance program that involves regularly scheduled informal study sessions. It focuses not on high-risk students, but on high-risk courses. We recruit students who've done well in the class previously to take that class a second time. We pay them to serve as model students, to attend the classes, to take notes, and then they provide these informal study sessions. They're not tutoring the students, they're really getting the students to use that information in some interactive, interdependent way. It's essentially a facilitated study group. It gives them an hour and a half per session more contact with the course content. It's really helpful because it takes people who don't know each other and puts them together and says, we all are learning the same thing, we're all making the same mistakes, it's okay, that's totally fine, we're going to get to this common goal. And it's just really a cool, comfortable place to learn and make friends. The students that I knew were coming to SI consistently learned not just psych as a subject, but study skills and time management skills that helped them be better students. It was incredible to discover that there were over 1,200 student visitors who came voluntarily. 93 students attended more than five of the sessions and nearly 300 unique student attendees. Students who didn't go to SI before the first test, but then did between test one and test two, when we analyzed that specifically for students who had gotten D's or F's, we were able to get two-thirds of those students out of the DNF range on test number two. That was the most surprising part because generally D's and F's on test one mean D's and F's on test two. That, that consistency has been there for years and years and years. And this was the first time where I really felt like for those students who struggle to that level, to move them out of the DNF range is pretty significant. In the second semester of SI, we've expanded the program to include linear algebra and intermediate accounting to other high challenge courses. And one key element that SDSU has brought to the SI model is the use of technology to track student participation and solicit student feedback in real time. And this effort has allowed us to assess, share, and refine our efforts more effectively. As we look to scale up supplemental instruction, I think it's really important that we continue to gather data and analyze that data to inform our improvement strategies, and also to be able to report back to the stakeholders here on campus about how it's going, where we're seeing impact, where we may be struggling, and continue to use that data to refine our approach over time.